Okay. Then on the governance side, that's all about getting a voting center and getting to a 50% voting participation rate. Okay, right now we're at about 70,000 people. Uh, we need about a million people. The voting center will get us there, give or take, and it's a process. Uh, so, and our indication of that is the staking participation. With staking partic uh, you know, center in Daedalus, we have 72% of the network staking. So if you have this equivalent area for people to easily vote and participate in the democratic process, it's not unreasonable to assume an equivalent number there. But that's a big part of governance because you want a majority of your people participating on a regular basis, and you need them to meaningfully participate. So we're creating things like an open governance API, so third-party governance stacks can be built and integrated in, you know, better data and tracking metrics, um, all kinds of surrounding infrastructures being built down to audit and provide oversight. An expert class is developing, delegative democracies developing, where you can delegate your vote to other people, these types of things. That will enable a governance system that can run the hard fork combinator, can run the system parameters, and so forth. <laughs> so you don't like K, change it. You don't like A not, change it. These types of things. You know, we can only bootstrap it, but ultimately the community has to make these decisions. And a corollary to that is the CIP process, as well as the open source project side of it. So there's a humongous effort underway right now. Very expensive, a lot of people working on it to transition the custodial entities to a full open source project, kind of like what the Linux Foundation does with the Linux kernel, where 100 companies and 800 developers work full-time at managing and building up the Linux kernel. It's one of the largest, most successful open source projects in the world and most useful. It's not rocket science, just work. So build the institutions, you know, give them uh, a lot of running room. Like, for example, I met with the Cardano DeFi Alliance. Get them involved, these types of things. And then you have hundreds of entities come together and they can build everything up the whole stack from the, from the science to the formalization to the protocol design to the reference clients, to the interfaces, to the commercialization, to the marketing, to the verticals, all those things. Every part of the stack is basically getting that. And that, that's a huge part of the work package this year. And we're working on it. Foundation's working on it. DC Spark's working on it. Emergo's working on it. Uh, dozens of DAP development companies are working on it in their own way. And it's part of Catalyst as well. Uh, so uh, that's what has to happen for the government side. It's, uh, it, it's less about research and it's more about social conventions and structures and getting people used to ideas and compelling behaviors and these types of things to participate. And every indication we have is we're moving in the right direction. If you look at the seven funding rounds of Catalyst, participation's been walking up very rapidly. And we have a phenomenal group of people, over 70,000, that regularly participate from the community. So it makes it the largest decentralized organization in the world. And, you know, just harnessing that and building down with that, it means it'll keep growing and it'll become, you know, so amazing. So uh, those are the two sides if for scalability and for governance. There's a lot more like interoperability and, uh, you know, some economics things that need to happen. And, you know, the side chains, there's lots to do there and so forth. It's, it's a lot. You know, there's hundreds of people, at least in my organization, who wake up every day and their full-time job is nothing but this. And there's 15 development companies outside of my organization that a large chunk of their revenue is working on Cardano and building Cardano that are completely independent of I.O. So it's a humongous open source project, which is usually ignored by the industry. We're number one for GitHub commits, and their only answer is, well, you can game GitHub commits. Oh, yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> you know, like, I just don't get it. I don't, yeah. get, I don't get the scrutiny. I don't get why it's so ignored. Especially when other guys, like, their networks just completely collapse. They have to kick it to turn it back on. And, and you know, us, it's just like, well, you know... You release smart contracts, but you know this thing wasn't ready, so fail. 